Force fans. Um, but as you look at this, guys, isn't it beautiful? This is the first fully water cooled, hard to bend uh, PC that I have probably built in a long time. Uh, it's probably been, I don't know, years, but it is done. I've already got it set up. I mean, it is doing amazing. I got it on this nice RGB mat here. As you can tell, it looks great. If you guys like it, please give me a like. I've worked hard and I put a lot of money into this machine and I am ecstatic about it. It looks incredible. You see how I built the hard tube line in there like that and then this right here is our drain valve that I installed and built because you have to have a drain valve and then you have our T-Virus reservoir and it's running a Titan rig um, 3M flat pump and it's blue hard tubing and it comes up and goes through our flow meter I wanted the flow meter to sit directly in front of the ram so that way the light came through the flow meter and it looks really cool and then it keeps going and it goes into the EK water block and then that just comes out and gets passed back through the radiator see it goes through the radiator which is cooled in a unique way there's two fans there's three fans one fans on the inside blowing air this way and then you have two more on the outside which you can kind of see them back in there um, and those bring air in and then you have the three on top here that exhaust I'm sorry no these blow in these bring air in and blow air into the machine and then you have one exhaust fan in the back right here blowing air out but it is absolutely beautiful check out the top liking it especially the ground effects underneath the green glow. So guys, I just kind of wanted to go over some of the things with you on this build. Um, it's a Gamma 310 uh, tempered glass chassis. Uh, there's an Oris H370, uh, what is it? It's an H370 Oris Gaming 3 Wi-Fi. No, I'm sorry. It has an i3-8100 in it. It has two m.2 mvme ssds and these are pci express and it's a 256 and there's one at the top there and then there's one right there you can probably see it up inside there see it says 250 right there that's one of the drives those are the only two hard drives in the entire system i will add more drives later on but that's for another day we have an extreme this right here is an extreme a gigabyte card I believe it's a 970 or a 960 it's an absolute beautiful card it has RGB all over it and stuff it's just absolutely gorgeous and then we're running eight 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 and eight so that gives me a grand total of 32 gigs of DDR4 at 2666 we got an EK water block on there and then of course the T-Virus Reservoir and then we put the combs on it, the, the sleeve extend cables, it looks great. We got green, uh, these are Asian horse fans, um, but as you can see I put Strix stickers on them and stuff, but I'm loving it. I mean this thing just, it looks amazing. The back of it looks really nice and neat, I can really feel the air blowing out of there. Um, the power supply is an 80 plus bronze and it's a 650 watt semi-modular uh, I carbon fiber the bottom of it the only thing that there's really left to do guys is for me to put the, sim the temperature sensor gauge inside of it to read the temperature off for me um, I carbon fibered oh look there's a screw in there uh oh I bet that's I that's what I heard that's what I heard that's the underneath that's the ores thing it has fusion 2.0 so I can change the colors of it but it is absolutely magnificent I went with a green and blue finish I thought the green and blue would just look magnificent especially at the top of it the top just looks absolutely wonderful I like it make sure to give me a like guys if you guys like it give me a like drop me a like
drop me a like. If you don't like it, drop me a like anyway. Make sure to subscribe to my channel because I build stuff like this all the time because we are a DIY project channel and that's what we do. It's beautiful. Let's see here. I want to change the color scheme of it. Hold on. See, there should be a green in there, right? No. Green. There it is. Green. It's beautiful. Here, see, this is the other system that I'm using right now. Um, we did a build on this one, and you see how that one has a sensor temperature gauge? That's what I want to put in that, sen in that uh, one over there. This is my dead silence build. I built this one the other day, although this one right here, I'm probably going to leave this one just the way it is because I have all new parts. The only thing I'm going to do is take that 1070. That's a GTX 1070 sitting in there, and I would like to take that one um, because we are currently redoing this room right now, and I have a Ryzen 7 2700X, um, a Strix B450 motherboard, and then I have Trident Z. Um, it's a two 16 gig kits, so I have four sticks in total, but it's going to be 32 gigs of RAM. So we're going to be running that Ryzen 7 2700X, 32 gigs of RAM, a GTX 1070 8 gig card. I mean, it's going to be nice, and we're going to have three top tier systems. So we'll have this system right here that I'm going to use for editing and workstation, mainly for editing, mainly for editing. Um, this one right here is going to be. Um, we'll take that 1070 out and put a 1050 Ti into it and that will be our other backup gaming and then the one that I'm building here in a couple of days after Christmas that one's going to be my main gaming system but I have to get this room in order um, I painted it black and stuff I'm just waiting for the things to come and we're going to run LED lights around it and stuff it's going to be awesome but yes what do you guys think do you guys like the build Please tell me you like it. I hope y'all like it. I put a lot of time and money into it. Um, I have this. L this is by up here. It's a uh, it's a GPU bracket um, LED. It was like twelve bucks. I absolutely like it. It was great. Um, what really held me up on this build for a while was the parts. Um, I had to order radiators and all these fittings, and then I managed to just buy a kit that had all the stuff in it and then I had to order more fans and you know and then certain things weren't coming right you know and I had to do rebends and do all this other stuff if you look over there in that corner you can actually see that that is actually held together by a barbed fitting what I did is I just basically heated the tube up and pressure fitted that barbed fitting and as you can see it is watertight and nothing's going nowhere so yeah this is the build I'm really excited um, I just got to do some fine tuning on it and it'll be good and we'll do some testing and see how everything comes out. Make sure everything's running with that H Gen um, i3 in there. It's still four cores, but that i3, I don't think it'll get too terribly hot. And, you know, I don't know. But yes, I hope you guys like it. I do. I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. Here's the front end of it, looks great. And then you have the top, and then you have the bottom of it. But yes, appreciate you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments, leave a comment. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you have any suggestions for a build or anything you guys would like to see me talk about or do, please tell me it. I would love to discuss things with you guys. Um, we're, we're currently sitting at 534 subscribers, so won't you join us and be 535 and beyond? Because we need y'all. And yeah, appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. I hope you guys like my work. I mean, it looks incredible. Incredible. Oh, awesome. It's just, I'm going to have a nice, sick-ass room, a badass computer room, and I'm going to have some badass computers in here, too. And it's, it's going to all be by me, because I built it. Doom. 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 So, be like...